Hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. So Litecoin yesterday um, most likely finished, no, that was actually on Monday. On Monday, most likely finished its wave two. Yeah, so as you can see, this wider support area was very relevant. We came into it. Yeah, so I remember when we moved up here in wave three, I told you that most likely we're now going to get into this wave four support area and have a chance to reverse from there which at the moment we seem to be doing. Um, how sustainable that is, we will see, but it, it seems like at the moment that wave five, indicated here in white, has started. So the idea is that from this swing low, from the 9th of November, um, Litecoin is creating an impulse in this channel, in this impulsive channel. And we had here a wave one, a wave two, the wave three is still ongoing, then there will be a wave four and a wave five. And we are still in this wave three, by the way, but in this wave three, we've already got our wave one, two, three, and the wave four probably done on Monday. And now we are in the fifth wave. Within this fifth wave, we look now at, um, at this uptrend here. And so far, this analysis, I think, has, has, uh, been pretty much okay you know if we're riding the correct wave count the only thing here yesterday yeah my assumption was because we can count five waves up here that a wave one was already done and I anticipated a slightly stronger correction in a wave two if this was a wave two it was very shallow unlikely yeah um, but possible you know it reached basically the 38.2 percent FIB level here at $75. When I define a support area for a wave two, it's normally between the 50% and the 78.6% um, FIB level, normally. But in this case, I told you yesterday, it's most likely not going to go down to $72. It would be outside of the channel, so it would be unlikely. But $73.36 or $74 would have been ideal. Now we only came to the 38.2% FIP level. That's also okay for a wave two, but one of the more unlikely FIP levels, right? So um, the thing is though, I don't think that this was already the end of, um, that this was already the end of the wave one because it was so shallow and because of the current development of the price here. So my view is with the latest price information we have that actually, the wave four did not end here. It actually ended just down here where I've got this wave two. So let me just readjust this. And this was then the wave five. So wave one finished here, yeah, one second. Wave one finished here at the AD64 level. And wave two is currently coming down here. So we're just moving um, two of those waves across, which doesn't really change the overall scenario at all. We just take care a little bit here of the lower time frame count, um, which, as I always mentioned, is a bit fragile, right? Because markets do unlikely events all the time. You can see we are hovering above a trend line here. We can follow this trend line as long as we're above it. Um, if this is currently a wave two, then I'd actually be looking at a little bit of a stronger retracement again. Ideally, again, ideally into the region of around 75.64 here, the 50% FIB level. Um, again, maybe, maybe the 38.2 FIB level will already provide support, but it's one of the less likely support levels here, the 76.82 level. But these are, let's say we drop below the trend line, then we've got S support. First of all, 76.82, 75.64, and 74.46. That we break out of the trend line in this scenario, I think is unlikely um, because it would mean we would have to come down to the 78.6% FIP level at 72.78, which could still hold as support of a wave two. So this wave two could come down to that level yeah, and still be valid, but it would drop quite a lot and it would mean we break the channel, which I think if we break the channel, it's probably over to be honest, but um, therefore I'm rather looking at these three here, the 38.2 to the 61.8% FIP level yeah, at the moment for this wave two. But again, the scenario continues to be to the upside. So 
it, the primary scenario is working out here at the moment. Um, so that's all fine. Smaller time frame counts are always a bit inaccurate. Please always understand that. But all you know, generally we are following here nicely the wave count and um, please understand that we are here in an uptrend at the moment. There is currently no sign that this is over. It needs to hold generally the seventy-one dollar level that hasn't changed, because dropping below that level would basically invalidate this uptrend for now. Um, and against seventy-one dollars, we can just generally focus on higher. And then target is still sort of to get into the let's say ninety dollar region here for this third wave there in uh, blue. Okay. And uh, what else to say? Not really anything other than a long, longer time frame. I'm not convinced about the Litecoin chart. I did say that as well. This is for me more like maybe swing trade uh, material here, not necessarily long term investment material. Yeah, okay, and that's my update about Litecoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.